Okay, we've got something special going on here. I don't know if you guys have seen the queue over there, but the queue over there is for Final Fantasy 15, which is a superb game, not available until November the 29th. Now, we've got another live stream going on, and we've got the lovely Susie. Can we hear it for Susie, please? Her channel is Susie Lou, so this is going out live right as we speak, is it Susie? Yes, yes it is. Do you want to say right hello now. to all your uh, subscribers? Hello! <laughs> so that's already. And we have Ian from Square Enix. So these guys are going to talk you through the game. They're going to show you what you'll be looking for. And they're going to show you just how much fun Final Fantasy 15 is. So where you go, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So basically today, we want to show you guys some of the gameplay that you can expect from Final Fantasy 15. And also, we're going to show you the battle system as well, which I know a lot of people have been would you say nervous about? It's always a big deal, I the new battle system. A lot of people, obviously Final Fantasy is traditionally turn-based and I think a lot of people are wondering exactly how it's gonna yeah. play. So exactly. I think people are just curious more than anything. And, yeah. uh, so basically we're gonna go in the diner just now and this way we can get some objectives onto our map. So as you can see, we've got some nearby havens. They've been marked onto the map. Parking spots as well, because as you know from the demo, you're fixing up your car, which we have just now, so I can show you guys the car. Outposts. All right. What do you okay, want? and also, you want to feed your characters as well, and if you don't give them a good meal, they will complain, yeah. as I have heard. If you give them toast, they're not very happy about that. But that looks a little bit expensive. Would you not say that's... I, I think toast is more in my budget range. We'll yeah, um, so let's go much? ahead. Make sure do you go cook for me meals that good? I can't yeah. cook, actually. Um, my subscribers will know I've had my fair <laughs> share of burning down a few kitchens. So yeah, luckily I don't have to do any of that just yet. So let's go ahead and have a look at the car just now. It is such a nice car. I absolutely love this car. But you can mess around with it as well. So this is what it looks like. How do you pronounce that? Regalia? The regalia. The regalia. Regalia, regalia depending on how posh you are. <laughs> the regalia. Regalia. The regalia. OK, so let's have a little word with our lovely lady. Oh, well, I gotcha. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. OK, so we don't want to service it just now, but we do want to customize it. And obviously, what when you do service it in the today? game, you can upgrade it. And I, I think a lot of people have seen the trailer. You can actually turn it into a flying car. Can you? Turn it into your airship. Yeah. No way. That is crazy. So at the moment, we've got these colors here. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I'm not really feeling that one. Perfect. That is what I am going with. Anything in mind for so the interior? You've got a lot of different options for the interior of your car as well. I'm a girl, I'm girly, so I'm happy with that. I, I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I think <laughs> totally... How do you want the wheels? And of course, alloys, wheels. Have we got some purple on this? That doesn't go, does it? I think maybe... You want to mm. pick this one? Let's go a bit further down. I have to go, go further from uh, charcoal. Maybe, what's the amethyst like? Ooh, there we go. That yeah, is our car. There right there, that is our car. No, I don't want to scrap it. Okay. How's this? Y'all the hard work to me. I love that car. I want this car in real life. I really, really want this car. Ooh, look Ooh. at that. She's all ready for you. Have a look. And you know, it's not just the color you can customize, right? Yeah, exactly. So what I'm going to do now, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I need this car in my life. So on top of customizing your car, you can actually buy stickers. So let's go and buy a sticker from this guy just now. I don't know if in real life I'd put stickers on that car. It is too pretty, in my opinion. Well, I think that depends on what the sticker actually is, because you know we have some selections here, mm -hmm. but you know who knows what's going to turn up in other areas of the uh, of the Final Fantasy 15 world. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. So let's go ahead and get the hammerhead sticker. Much appreciated. Thank and let's go put it on our beautiful, beautiful car. It looks so much nicer in white. It's just my opinion, of course. Mind you, the roof has come down now. What can I do you for? Okay, so let's go back into customize. 
Yeah. And as you can see now, on the decal, you've actually got options, whereas before we didn't have options because we had no stickers. Well, here's what I can do for And that's where you'll see your stickers at the site. So, <laughs> it, it, actually that works really that's, nice. That's There's me good. saying, no stickers on the car. That works really nice, actually. So you can put it in different positions. You can put it on the top, the side, the bonnet, the back. But I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Perfect. So why not? I always do that. How's there this? we go. You happy now? Leave the I think so. Yeah. I think I'm happy. Take it for a drive? Yeah, let's go for a drive. I love this cutscene right here. Well, here she is, it, just like you ordered. It's just the coolest car, right? It's it is. Just so, I, I adore it. it. It's nice to see it, actually, because I didn't see it properly in the demo, so now I get more of a, a hands-on with it. Yeah, this is actually a sneak peek, which is a little bit after what people get to play here at EGX. Yeah. So if you're playing, then you know what you can expect after you finish your uh, your hands-on. Exactly. So I've heard, I'm not a good driver, <laughs> by the way. I'm just going to put that one out there. So I'm going to put it on auto. And we want to go on a quest. Yeah, let's do it. And it's this one here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, let's... This is part of the main storyline quest, and obviously you can unlock the other side quests and all sorts of things you'll find in the world, so yes. you can go off from the start and just go, you know, wherever you like around this area and see what you can find. Lots of secrets. Exactly. I mean, the map in this game is ginormous. Like a traditional Final Fantasy, you're going to be on this game for 100 plus hours yeah. regardless. And also with World of Final Fantasy coming out as well, there's a lot to do. In right. the next few months. And Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, out next year yeah, as well. Yeah, I need that game. I need it. So one of the really amazing features with this is you can actually buy the soundtracks yeah. of the other games and you can listen to them in your car. What is your favorite Final Fantasy game? Number eight, eight. is my favorite. I think because that was the first one I played. So I absolutely adore eight. And I think for me, when I'm driving this, do we want to do this, or do we want to keep on going to the coast? I think we'll go to the coast. Yeah, okay. No way. <laughs> really dramatic. No way. Uh, yeah, Final Fantasy VIII for me. Iconic. First one I ever played. I feel like everybody has... The, it's always their first that mm -hmm. they like the most, right? Yeah, I think so. It's the experience and it's the love story in that game as well. So as you progress through the world of Final Fantasy XV, you will be able to buy the other soundtracks as well. So that was Balam, Don't Be Afraid. I'd love to ask the audience, like, do you know which ones these are from? Like, just to find. I think that's the one I would want. Fisherman's, Fisherman's Horizon, Horizon is absolutely amazing. So you can see on the top, we've got a start, we've got a finish. That is our destination yeah. as to where we are going. So it does take a few minutes to get where you are going. But as you can see, we just had like a little park yeah. coming up just then. So you can stop at any time. And we can dangerously drive on the wrong side of the road as well. My favorite thing is if you so turn the camera to sort of look at them sideways and then slam the brakes on for him. <laughs> what are you doing? I it's love that so they dangerous. all tell Ignis off, but you're the one that did it with your controllers. So. Yeah, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. And actually, there was a man just broken down there. I don't know if you saw was him. There? We'll come back to him later. Yeah. Uh, he'll, he'll be okay for a while. He'll still be there yeah, when we we'll come back, him. I'm sure. So yeah, you do have the, the freedom to move. Can I crash? <laughs> I don't think you I did want. say you're a terrible driver. I, I know, but I don't, I don't want to crash. Like, oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm going to try and be safe. No, we need to get there in one piece, yeah. I think. And we need to get there before the sun sets as well. Exactly. Because you never know what's going to come out at night. Is it going to be dangerous? Yes, almost definitely. Oh, that's fine. I've played Dark Souls. I can handle this. It's all good. One thing I do like, though, is obviously it's moving by itself just now. So this is the time that you've got to take in the scenery. And also their facial expressions as well. His hair, though. Yeah, I love the way they interact with each other in the car as well. Like, yeah. You know, if you're going on a long drive, sometimes you'll have Gladio reading a book. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll have uh, Ignis and Prompto just high-fiving. Yeah. Just, like, clearly just chatting amongst themselves while they're on this trip. I almost just want to slam the brakes on again. Just, <laughs> just... <laughs> just trolling them. I'm just trying to see if we'll get an airbag come out or something, <laughs> just in case. My sticker looks kind of nice, though, doesn't it? It's looking good, yeah. 
I can't wait till you get to the end of the game and your entire car is just full with all sorts of different stickers. <laughs> it looks like a sticker album for... Uh... Wow, Dang. look at this. It's to see. How see beautiful it. is this? That's golden key. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Sit down. I'm looking at this. It's beautiful. So yeah, we're going to go down to the beach just now. And we are going to camp out for the night. Because I'm thinking that we're kind of hungry. Yeah, we should, uh, should, should kick up some, uh, some toast. Some toast. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, when you do eventually get to the camp, you choose what to cook. Um, based on what you're cooking, you will get HP. You will get all sorts of different abilities. Well, yeah, every meal uh, gives you different additions to your uh, abilities. So, yep. you know, it might increase the strength for the day or make your HP uh, higher. Mm -hmm. um, and then some meals that you find later on, actually, nice. they have, uh, each character has their favorite meals. Yeah. And they have like a little 8-bit uh, version of themselves that sort no of way. signifies that that's their favorite meal. So you make that and they get an even bigger boost to their uh, attributes. Yeah. That is seriously cool. So if I remember, it's up this section? Yeah, yeah, let's uh, head over the beach. So I want to try practicing sprint. So obviously, if you hold down circle, you do have sprint. There is a little trick that you can try and do. I tried it once, and I failed. You can do it. Now. Oh. No. Basically, when you get to the bottom of the sprint, if you tap circle fast enough, it gives you like a little boost, doesn't it? And you don't have to worry about sort of you know, running out of yeah, juice, basically. Yeah, wait for it to regenerate. Mm. It just does it instantly and you can just keep running. Yeah, so that little bit of smoke there is obviously where we are going. So let's go up here. I love the designs yeah. on the side. I wonder if that actually means anything at all. That's very cool. I'm like hinting, what does it mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Who knows, maybe it's secret. Given oh. <laughs> everything hush hush for me. All right. So you want to find camps, especially before it gets dark, but there is no beating that view. Isn't that stunning? We got the moon out. Let's do it. So you can train, you can do nothing, but we want to camp. Out under the stars. We want to cook a meal as he likes to do with his Yeah, his little his like, finger. ah, I know, toast. Ah, it's that really meal. difficult to make, yes. <laughs> It's quite nice when you're training as well because it's Noxus versus Gladio mm -hmm. and then you can practice your parries and your blocks. You know, if you do want to get into the combat, then it's a really good place to actually get yourself started. So, mm. What are you going to eat? What is that? Spicy long. Okay, so as you can see, you get your attack, increases your attack, increases maximum HP. Prompto loves it. I know, look at his little... <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. There's no one like... Why would you not like this? So that only increases by 30. Mm. Whoa. I mean, I, really? just, I feel that just for comedy value, we should make them eat toast. That's really mean. <laughs> That's all we're going to do, though. We're going to make some toast. They will actually complain maybe in, what, a couple of hours? Yeah, you make them run long enough on a stomach that's only filled with toast, then... Um... It doesn't even... It's burnt. It's like half burnt <laughs> toast. It's, no, it's flame roasted. Uh, that's, wow. that's what I'm going to... You're used <laughs> to this, Next time anybody you? complains to me that it's burnt, it's like, no, it's flame roasted. <laughs> Final Fantasy XV told me so. Of course. So I'm not sure if we'll actually get a level up off of this. We got a little bit of attack added. Oh, we did? A tiny bit. We got quite yeah. a bit, would you not say? Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> Toast is good for you. So yeah, these are our levels. Oh, did he? We got a photography level yeah, up as so well. Prompto's clearly been taking photos through the day, so yeah. his photography skill's gone up a bit more. Yeah. And again, I think we get to see some of those photos now. Exactly. <laughs> so to my knowledge, these are kind of random as you go, is that right? Some are preset, so some are like, you know, the we'll typical, uh, like the one if you go across to the, the car, the one that Cindy took when we yeah, actually got a car fixed, so that's, really that will always appear. Um, but then a lot of them are random, sure yeah. and uh, Prompto will be taking them throughout the game, and you'll never know what you're going to get, so... I really like that. I, I want to know why and what this is. Ah. That's really cute. I love that. So yeah, that's a little feature that you'll see throughout the game as well. Can I save them all or is it just... You can save all of them if you want, yeah. Yay! Oh. <laughs> just, no, I just want that one. It's just that I really one. Like, um, <laughs> I really like the idea that obviously these guys are on a trip to go see Luna, which mm -hmm. is Noctis's bride to be. Yeah. But they're all just guys hanging out and taking terrible photos of each other, which is pretty much what I do. Well, well not... Just take a random pictures yeah, of people? Bad, take, yeah, no, take bad photos of people. Of course. Yeah, I'm terrible of photographer. Course. 
<laughs> Wish Ignis would get off my okay. back. Okay. It is up if you could just get up in the morning. Look at the graphics on that. I love here, you can see the tension between the group. Ignis yeah. is always getting on at Noctis. It's always making him get up in the morning. So on this one, we said we weren't actually going to train on the beach. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, we don't need a train. Do no. you want to train? Does anybody want us to train on the beach? Or should, should we, we just... train? Should we go for a run? Or should we just sack it yeah. off and go, yeah? Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> this is going to be a race, though. Yeah, and you better get that stamina thing down. You just saw my sprint. My sprint is not good, but I can't compete with that guy. I'm not going to talk about his body. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go for a run on the beach just now. And can you do that after every camp? Is that quite no, common? No. This is random uh, incidents of like uh, instances where you'll get um, you'll get your friends asking you to go places with them. Yeah. So maybe Prompto will ask you to go take some photos with him, and you'll mm -hmm. have to like pull a pose in front of something dangerous. And yeah. uh, you know, Ignis will ask you to help with the cooking, maybe that sort of stuff. Yeah, we can come back to the magic after this, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you guys that just in a little bit. Because obviously this is the most important part of this entire stream, is winning this race. Oh yeah, if you don't do so, this, then uh, we're all going to judge you I'm just going to walk off if I lose this race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just be sat here like, no, uh, dramatic. Hey guys. <laughs> I don't know when it starts, so I'm like, I'm concentrating, like, right, okay. Yeah. So is yeah, it? we're just going to follow him until it says, basically, go, and you got to win this. So I wasn't very good at this sort of thing, so. Simply. We're going for a run. Nice. Nice and simple. I mean, I wouldn't want to race that guy. In real life, I would just be like, haha, he's ran off in front of me. I would just stand there, I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Go for a swim instead. Exactly. So yeah, this is for improving your stamina over time though, isn't it? We race. And this is a great practice of getting your timing down as well for when you're yeah. running. So. And you need that when you're in battle as well. You don't realize how important that is yeah. until you're kind of, we'll show you that in a minute, but it's really important. There's the goal. Now let's get started. Okay. All right. No pressure. You can do this. I, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Ready? Go. Can I not get a right, head start? No, 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 no. I said head start. Oh, what? He'll, no, he'll cave by the end. Yeah, you know. He's totally gonna he's, cave. He's too big for his stamina to be that high. Lego. Oh, no, too late. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Don't be so lazy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's so over. I'm, that's it. I'm walking off. I'm walking off. Come on. Wait, slow. Yes. Oh, I don't even yes. know how I did that. <laughs> Almost there. Come Do on, it again. Come on, One come more on. time. I don't know how I did it, though. <laughs> Get ready to let go. I'm trusting now. you. Yes. Yay. Come on, come on. Wait, I was tapping it. I think that was the issue, oh, yeah, which is yeah. why I was doing it as an attack. Get ready. Oh, you, you Guys, aced we just it. We nailed it. that. We absolutely so nailed that. <laughs> well done, Doc. And that is good for your stamina. He's a big guy. He is not going to be impressed with us after this. Yeah. This I mean, if it was me, I'd have stopped halfway there and just sort of lay in the sun. <laughs> I, I feel like I should have stopped halfway and been like, come on. So, yeah, go on, catch come up, on. granddad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at that view, though. That's like a postcard right there. Good hustle That's what I love the most about uh, the scenery. Yeah. It's like, it sort of feels realistic. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's like set in realism, but then you see these fantastic like structures in the background. It's like, I really want to see yeah. what's over there. Exactly. So I didn't save, just thanks. I didn't think I was supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> so as I just said a second ago, just around here, let's talk about magic. Let's talk about magic. Because magic is obviously going to be a very big part of any Final Fantasy, as you know. Yeah. Magic is key. So in this game, you're absorbing it. Yeah, you can you can absorb it from uh, these draw points, but you can also actually take it from enemies when you defeat them yeah. if you have a weapon that gives you that ability. So exactly. You can actually like build it up over time by yeah. by defeating certain uh, enemies with certain weapons. So that was the lightning one we just picked up then, wasn't yeah. it? I'm not entirely sure where we found the other ones the other day. Is it? a little fire on the map so when you've got points um it will show up in the little uh, blizzard symbol and uh flame so there, there we, go. we go yeah so yeah we just want to absorb all of these 
very, very similar to Final Fantasy VIII when you are fighting an enemy, you're drawing their magic, and obviously when you're, you're out of your magic, that's it, tough. You gotta go find other magic as well. But also just to give you an idea, there's a lot of crafting yeah. in this game, which it's taken me a little bit to get my head around the crafting. We were just going through it a second ago. But as you can see okay. here, I always feel like you should explain this one. <laughs> okay, so what we've got is we've got the different types of elemental power. You yeah. know, you just draw your uh, lightning and your fire. We've got quite a lot of lightning, actually, so I think we should use that one as an example. Yeah. Um, so you can add all sorts of lightning, all sorts of magic to what you're going to craft. Yeah. So let's add all of it. Let's okay, just, let's just so, chuck it in there. Yeah, and we could combine it with uh, fire if we wanted to, but let's just go for lightning. We've got that in there, and you can see down here, Thunder has 92 power, yeah. which is a, a very powerful. Let's add a catalyst. So we can add a potion, okay. or we could skip across to the uh, ingredients. We could add one of these, yeah. or we could go across again. And you'll see that some of them actually add abilities to like your magic. Like a quad cast, so, for yeah. example. Yeah. So this one increases the number of them, so you'll have three in your inventory. Yeah. And it will do, like, four attacks at once when you throw it. So it's really powerful. Which is what you need, because a yeah. lot of the time what we've been finding is there's a lot of enemies that come at once. Yeah. So you kind of want to have maybe a little bit more of an advantage yeah. with that as well. So I think we should do that. Let's craft that. This one? Yeah. All six? Uh, yeah, let's do all six. So we don't actually have any extra effects, but we've added, we've got more of them in our inventory. Yeah. So, so let's we go craft ahead. it. And that's our spell made. So and it's pretty strong as well, 98. It's, it's very strong. It's really strong. Um, we don't have a slot to equip it, do we? Huh? We don't have a slot to equip yeah, it. Yeah, we do, we do. So we can actually equip it to someone. Who should we... Do you want to, do you want to use it yourself, or do you want to give it to one of your teammates to uh, use at their leisure? <laughs> I will probably end up using it, like, miles away. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll give it to Ignis. Yeah, he seems the most sort of uh, responsible one. Yes. He looks I wouldn't give it to Pronto. No. No. Definitely no, not. Because like he'll do the same everywhere. as me. It'll go everywhere again. We've got a Pronto in the audience who's just mouthing things at us now. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So we're going to so scroll across. Add yeah. That one. That it is one. powerful. It's, it's really powerful, good. It's powerful, yeah. So we'll chuck that in his secondary arm. Do you want to... Yeah. Let's, let's find um, something to use it on. Okay. I mean, that's what we're all here for, is the, the battles. Is the so we're trying to do it in the daytime, because at nighttime, it's it's going to be deadly. Bad things come out at night. Like, um, Ignis won't drive at night because of the stuff that comes out. Yeah. Um, I would, I'd love to see you actually take something on. Like, given your skills that I've seen on, on other action-based video games, wow. uh, I would love to see how you handle an Iron Giant at level 66. I don't think that's going to happen. But I could try, but yeah. So I play a lot of Dark Souls, so I tend to uh, not parry very well. I like to be very quick on my feet. But obviously, you do want to block because that's going to happen. And it's not good. It's not good at all. But the good thing I do like about this is if you are running out of health, which tends to happen to me quite a lot, you can warp away. Yeah. And you will regen health as you go. And if you. Uh... If you manage to walk into cover, then you can actually regenerate it faster as well. Exactly. And so. hide, which is the most important part. Yes. <laughs> which we saw a lot of that in the demo, especially against the Behemoth as well. I am missing all these blocks today. You can tell how my Dark Souls playthrough went, can't yeah. you? <laughs> You're all about the aggression, right? <laughs> so as you can see, I've got a green bar maxed out here. So let's get Ignitus. Ah, oh, help me! Oh, Gladiolus can help. Yeah, so this is kill. their special move. Never miss. But obviously I wasn't close enough to do my follow-up move. Well, I think there what actually happened was he finished it off for you, so yeah. there was no follow-ups that you had to do. <laughs> you just like sit back like, you know, on the prince, you go do it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't want to get my hands dirty <laughs> Why are you even this? here if you're not going to stab stuff for me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So the battle system is very quick. You have to be alert at all times, otherwise they will just swamp you and you'll be taken out, basically. And my biggest piece of advice for people that are playing it for the first time is always hold square. Yes. Yeah. So you'll always dodge and you'll always block, and then you're ready to like counteract with your circle. Yeah. With your, uh, your follow-up So you can attack. parry it as well. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the car. 
There are a few side quests that you can do here, but unfortunately we don't have time to do them at this very second. So, where did I park? I have this issue constantly. <laughs> Where's, ah, maybe in the car park so I could place to have a look. So let's go back. We I should, mean, who's this guy? What are you doing? Oh, I thought he was about to say hello to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I love it, it's like, where did I park? Yours is the one white car with I pink know. leather interior and pink hubcaps. I know, but it's a, a sunny <laughs> day. It might have, like, wandered off. So let's go back into okay. the regalia. Regalia. The regalia, on auto oh, as well. Okay. Okay, so it is... Let's go do this hunt. So the howling wind of uh, hunger. hunger. And we'll make sure not to emergency more. stop this time as well. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> It is so satisfying to do though, isn't it? It is. Just watching them flop forwards. It's just seeing Fisherman's Horizon come up. I can't hear it because it's obviously very loud in here, but I can imagine what it would be like. So obviously, yes, you want to go to your destination, but there will be a lot of little side quests along the way. So like we saw earlier, there was a guy that yeah. was completely stranded at the side of the road. So if we do come across anything, we can obviously we stop. We should jump out and help. Yeah. I think we should, yeah. If we see a chocobo, I'm just going to chuck it in the back. Yeah, Gladio's now reading his book in the back seat. He's like... He's clearly bored of the company. <laughs> look at this view around us. So boring. I'm just going to get straight into my book. <laughs> okay. So again, as you can see, start, finish. And what, what was that? Oh, I keep thinking I'm seeing things because there's so much to take in. Yeah. It's That's just absolutely thing, like, beautiful. When this finally releases on the 29th of yeah. November, like... I think you're going to see just weeks disappear. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my poor viewers is going to be, what are you streaming tomorrow? <laughs> I got a hundred hours. Yeah, true. They will love it. It's going to be amazing. All right. So I haven't seen anybody just yet. No, I think once we get out of this uh, sort of rocky area, I think there's actually another campsite here as well. You can see oh, some of this there? stuff on the oh, minimap. Of course, yeah. And you can see treasures littered about that the man in the diner told us about. So yeah. always worth talking to people and finding out, you know. So there's little chests at the side of the road there as yeah. well. Sit down. <laughs> That's so dangerous. It's not even wearing a seatbelt. I know. It's not promoting this. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I had to look for a second there. I was like, I'll see someone and then I'll drive past them because I'll yeah. forget how to actually hop out. I would quite like to see what those boxes are in there, though. I'm guessing it's just treasures that you can use, or uh, yeah. food, perhaps. You can sell them, or you yeah. can make them into magic crafting spells. So it's very open world, oh, you yeah. would say. Yeah. I mean, obviously Final Fantasy, it tends to have that, but a lot of the time it's kind of when you hit... Oh, hold on a minute. Pull over a sec. Emergency, out. stop, stop. <laughs> That was a very nice stock. He's, well, you know, Ignis is driving. I think if it was maybe Noxus driving, that would be a... <laughs> or if it was me, actually. Wait, let's see if the cars can actually get past, though. I haven't badly parked on this occasion. Just You're just going to cause a massive traffic jam. I know, just <laughs> overtake. I'm running in the road as well. That's just typical me. Okay, so we found someone at the side of the road. What's wrong with your car? It looks pretty bad. <laughs> it looks maybe a little bit overheated, but let's see what they got to say. I can't just leave my car and walk home. Okay. Right. Spark plug. Spark plug. So he's broken down. Deliver the spark plug. I can't just leave my car and walk home. So you will come across a lot, obviously, very big map. There's going to be a yeah, lot of side lot of quests. Stuff. And that's why I'm saying it's going to be something awesome because you're going to be putting so much time into this as well. And it's beautiful. So that's going to be on our quests, isn't it? Yeah. It says we're going to have... Unfortunately, though, I think we're going to have to wrap it up because we're running out of time. But I want to so play. I know. It's well, not fair. Maybe uh, we'll have to get you playing um, uh, Come to Square Enix and play some more sometime soon. Love to. <laughs> Absolutely love to. So yeah, unfortunately, that is all we have time for just now. So hopefully this has got you excited for November. It is so, so soon. Get your pre-orders in. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and go check out the Chocobos as well. Oh, yeah. over there. And they are so cute. So yeah, Indeed. Can thank we you hear very much. The guys, please. Can we hear it for Ian and Susie? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank well you. done, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for playing there. If anyone does want to play Final Fantasy 15, it's just around here. It's a little line. But you can have fun over there. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, be uh, we'll be having some more live streaming on stage here Do as well. We've got YouTube anything? gaming here. So thank you very much. See you in a bit.